declare this day. I declare this day. We shall have it. We shall have it. Thy presence. Thy presence. We shall build. We shall build. By thy word. By thy word. We shall grow. We shall grow. By thy truth. By thy truth. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. Every other word. Every other word. Is now now. Is now now. And it is void. And it is void. In the heavenlies. In the heavenlies. And in the customs. And in the customs. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shine upon us. Shine upon us, O Lord. Cause your right. Cause your light. To be upon our minds. To be upon our minds. That we may grow. That we may grow. To the knowledge. To the knowledge. Of the living God. Of the living God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give him a crab offering if you feel like you want to do it. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8. Today we have taken a lot of time. What are you? Huh? You are God from there. Amen. One, two. 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 Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 8. I'm looking at Ryan 3. Ryan 3. We will share just a a short segment. Amen. 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 One. Amen. Uh, leo tumechukua muda mrefu katika segment ya kwanza. Kwa maana tulipo anza nilikuta Tumechukua mzigo na mzigo ule umekuwa mzigo mkubwa. Na unaitaji kila mtu waweze kupita eneo lide. Afike mahali ambapo anaweza kuomba vizuri. Sasa sijui kama mumefika. Unasikia kama unaweza kuomba? How many of you they have gone through? Okay. Jim Bado. You are still lost. Not really. Okay. Uh, you must be able to pray about that matter because if you are not able to, then you shall have a problem. Because that is an active matter now. Let me get into a word. Ryan 3. The Bible says, He humbled you, causing you to be hungry, yet He fed you with manna that neither you nor your ancestors had known in order to teach you that human beings are, are not to live by food alone instead human beings are to live by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of the lord amen say a man shall not live by blood alone but he shall live by every word that proceeded from the mouth of the lord say one more time a man shall not live by blood alone but he shall live by every word that proceeded from the mouth of the lord there are several things I want you to note in your life. The natural body grows 
by blood. Note that. The natural body grows by bread. Therefore, you need to be careful of the blood you're eating. The natural body grows by bread. If you eat a good blood, if you eat a bad one, you're a tavudish one, a biologist. See on a mimi. The matters of blood. Kenya? Umefika? Anasema usi endere. <laughs> so the, the, about the blood you shall be taught although God is concerned of what type of blood you eat because blood carries two things which uh, I may not talk about now that every believer requires to know bread carries the ability to feed your natural body and it carries the ability to carry the word to the building Areas, um, uh, the word that build to the spiritual sphere. I'll say that again. Brand has ability to carry, to grow the natural body. But it has another mystery. It has also the ability to carry the building word to the spheres where it is required. That is why in the commands that God gave Israel. He brought something called feasts. These feastings were for building. So he tapped into the area of the food and blood that builds. And the church of today lost that bit. So we borrow from the communities we come from. If you are a Ruya, you borrow from Ruya. If, if you are a Kikuyu, you borrow from the Kikuyu. If you are a White, you borrow from the culture you come from. But the minute you borrow, you lose the godliness. Because you start establishing your spiritual sphere contrary to what you, you had believed. Let me repeat that one again. You start building your spiritual sphere contrary to what you believed because of what you have done, you have borrowed the word of another to build your sphere. The minute you borrow blood for building, you borrow the word of another. This is teaching. Am I speaking to people who can hear? Am I to people who are lost? Because uh, touching that is touching one of the hard areas. And the areas of controversies from the church. Let me try to lift up the voice a little. <laughs> Listen to what I will say again. The minute you borrow the brand that builds, you have borrowed the word of another to build your spiritual sphere with it. The minute you build the sphere, the spiritual sphere with the word of another, you have built it contrary to what you believe. Therefore, you lose your belief. Wow. Let me try to say that again. You lose your belief. So, blood has ability to feed your natural body, but it has another ability that is strange to carry the building word to where it is required. Have you gotten that? Now, I don't want to teach you about blend, although it's something you should understand, because the present church has lost. Somebody is making noise. So the present wo uh, church has borrowed a lot 
from the communities we are growing from. Be it in Kenya, be it in other corners of the world, we are borrowing. This bit of blood, we are borrowing it. So after we borrow, we come and bless it. Uh, I don't know whether you understand. We create a ceremony using somebody else's order of blood. But we call on the name of Jesus and we say, Lord Jesus, bless this blood, bless our ceremony, make us fruitful. Oh God, do it. But we have used somebody else's order of blood. Blessing it do not change the word it carries. Therefore, after blessing it, you think you shall build something healthy, but actually the order carries its own word. Its own word. So you shall build your spiritual arena using the word of another. The minute you build your spiritual arena using the word of another, you will be expecting one, but you get another. So the church has lost the ability to even help the communities it is in. Because we are the same with the communities. The only difference, we pray to Jesus, but actually our environment is the same. Because we are building using the order of blood. We lost our own. Oh, this is a temptation. The minute you lose you the order of blood, you have to borrow celebrations. So you find all over the world there is Halloween, there is Christmas, there is the Women's Day, there is Mother's Day, there is Father's Day, there is Valentine's Day. There, there are so many kinds of day, asthma day. As <laughs> And you find in the church, people are coming with flowers. Valentine's Day. They are coming on Mother's Day. They are, and nobody is asking this question. All these feasts, what do they carry? The minute you come celebrating something called Valentine, what actually are you celebrating? Then somebody will say you are celebrating love. Actually, you are celebrating undoubted fornication, not love. But uh, you are carrying the bread of another to build something and you bring it and you say, Lord, we bless it. We are celebrating wives. We are celeb No, you are celebrating something strange. Bringing your wife in it. Bringing your husband in it. So if you ask the church, do we have celebrations that you can celebrate that brings what you desire? You look for it in the calendar. There isn't it. Because even Christmas is not church celebration. Even Easter is not church. So the entire world calendar seems not to have anything that you can carry as a celebration that carries the bread in your own order. The bread in your order. You are bringing bread in the order of somebody else. So the minute you do that, you lose the authority over the area that you live in. That you cannot command the area to walk in a certain way because celebrations controls those commands. So the brand has the ability to carry the word that builds. But today I do not want us to talk about that because somebody says, talk about that. No, let me not leave that. I'm not talking about the blood. A man has another person, the soul and uh, the spirit. These ones 
are not developed by blood. Their growth are depended on the word. I want you to note that. They are dependent on the word. So the minute you are born, the part of you that will control your life, the part of you that will control your life is your mind, your heart, your emotion, then your spirit. Those four parts will control your life. The difference between this person and that person is the mind. What state of mind do this person have? Or a woman, but what type of, what state of mind do this one have? And what state of mind do that one have? The difference between one mother, man and another is the state of your mind, the state of your heart, the state of your emotions. It sets you apart from the pack. Huh? Nobody did God intend to be poor? Nobody did God intend to be sick. Nobody did God intend to be nobody. I'm a nothing. That is controlled by the state of the mind, the state of the heart, and the state of emotions. Who you become. Have you gotten that? Then I'll tell you the third thing. The state of your heart, the state of your emotions, and the state of your mind is controlled by what word grew you. I'll say it again. It is controlled by what word grew you. And these ones... They are in two levels. The word that was in the seed that conceived you and the word that was in the customs that brought you up. What type of a word grew you? Nataka uniangalia. Niko katika eneo ambaro Kenya itaka ngikuenda eneo ride. Na usipo ingia na mimi there is a kuna eneo atu auta tembea siana na mimi. If you don't never went with me, kuna eneo auta ingia. The the realm of dominion iyo auta ingia. Let me let me say that thing again. As we are growing, we are separated by the state of the heart, the state of the mind the state of our emotions. You find one brother when he is seated there and he sees this lady, he looks at and he says, wow. And the emotions begin running around. He starts looking for how to capture her in his retro. But there is another who will see her and say, a beautiful lady, and see her personality and he is not disturbed. They are able to walk together without him being disturbed and disturbing her. There is another they cannot walk together. They cannot travel to, to the, wherever they are going without him creating a commotion. Those people will be treated differently. One will be avoided. The other one, they will be comfortable to be around. Are you here? What is setting the two people apart? The state of their emotions. One will start being avoided by the women around him. If they will have to deal with him, they will have to be careful. Because of the many ones he shall speak that are evil. But the other one, they will be happy being around. The two have been separated. But they have not been separated by the devil. You see some guy, when he is, uh, one is rough road, you start becoming offended. Why do you like so and so and not me? It is not us who did it. No, 
the separation is working from where you are. Watu wako kwa kiti, hapa kwa kiti hapa. Unaona kiti? Kiti iko wapi? Hmm? So, it separates us. So that I break out of the park where everybody is. And I become a person different. I break out, I start having strength that others don't have. And the ability it is to do. I break out, I move away from the park of the poor. Because for you to move from the park of the poor, it changes from here and here. It does not change by having money in your hands. Even if you are given 10 million and you have not broken away, within one year you will not be having. You break away from the park, from your mind, and from your heart. So that your mind start having a thinking of a person who can make things happen. A thinking of a millionaire. Because you are not a millionaire by money. You, are, you become first of all by your thinking. You become a person who can make things move here. You have broken away from the park. And after breaking away from the park, we just give you time. Money will find you. Are you hearing me? Money will find you. People will start wondering, and uh, just five years, what has changed in that man to be able to be that way? And the money that comes to people whose mind have already gone into the right position, it does not come to go. It comes to stay. Because it is, did not come to you by mistake. It was brought by something that is in your mind. And as long as that thing is there, even if they burnt your house down, you just need another year and you're up again. I don't know whether you understand. Even if they stole everything from you and they leave you with nothing, you just require two years and you're back at the top and they became poor as they were. Because your position is not about money, it is about who you are here, here, and in your emotions. I wish you were here. I wish you were here. To be a man of influence, you don't become a man of influence by people giving you positions. It is your mind and your heart that possessions you. So that you may become a man of influence. After that, we just give you time. Five years down the line, everything will be moved, commanded from where you are. Wow. Are you hearing me? I wish you, your spirit will capture this. So you don't, first of all, get, become a man of influence by being, being given a position somewhere. You become a man of influence by your mind gathering that influence. And your heart gathering that influence. So that it first sits in you and in your mind before it start flowing out. After it has started sitting in you, we just give you time. Because nothing grows within a day. After it is established in you, you give time. You give four years, then you start seeing things gather around you. You start realizing anybody who wants something done comes running to you. Can you help me do that? Anybody who wants this done comes running to you. Can you help me go here? Anybody who, who wants something for the son, can you come and help in the matter of my son? Things start gathering towards you. Because here and here, something has been positioned for influence. But 
but there are people who think you become a man of influence because some women chose you to become their the women chairman or some men chose you to become their chairman or some organization picked you and made you a ceo that is the way you become we have too many ceos who never become people that can influence we have too many chairmen who are never remembered when they leave their chairmanship. Even when they are chairman, their names are never mentioned. And yes, you meet with him, then somebody told you, do you know chairman? This is the chairman. Because actually they are chairmen, but they don't have influence in them. Their minds and their hearts do not carry influence. It's only he was within the badge of people who required a chairman. And they saw him to be the best. Maybe he does not disturb people a lot. <laughs> and they gave him the, the praise of chairmanship. After he goes, his name will never be remembered. Neither will anybody come to seek guidance from him. Do you know we have too many people in Kenya who, are, who occupy many positions who people never seek guidance from? Principles of schools whose schools never come to seek guidance on what to do. They will only, tell, they will only be saying I was the principal of this school. I, even that school I was the principal for 10 years. Even that one for 15 years. Eh, we have taught 35 years. But nobody comes home to ask him for advice. Why? He had no influence. He was simply a stooge running an organization by certificates. And it is very bad to be a person who cannot in every even influence where you grew from. The badge of people that are around you cannot be influenced in directions that become beneficial to them. Very bad. But now, the growth in your mind, in your heart, in your emotions is controlled by a word. I want you to know that word. That is why in this writing God is teaching Israel to know a man do not live by blood alone but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. Note this on the face of the earth, there are two main types of the word. The first type of the word, I can call it the general word. But that general word, it's a word that is given birth by the rule of sin. Mostly that is the word that we grow by. The general word. A word that is given birth by the rule of sin. Number two, there is the living word. The living word is given birth by the rule of righteousness. The living word 
It is given by, by the rule of righteousness. The rule of righteousness and the word that is living proceedeth from the mouth of God the creator. These two categories of the word are the ones that are active on earth. They are fall from the lower level to the higher level. Note that. They evolve from lower level to higher level. Um, the, the word begins from the lower level going to the higher level. For example, the general word. The general word evolves from the general bringing up of your child. The general bringing up of your child. For example, you gave birth to a child. That child requires to be instructed. He requires to know how to speak. What are you meditating on? Kinyanataka <laughs> Musanda. The general word, the word that brings up, you, you should say to bring up your children. The word that you use for confessing. That is the general level. Eh? Greeting, confessing, eh, communication, entertainment, and for general level. That word given and birthed by the power of sin, it moves from that level, crime being us, to the level of judgments. You got on that? Then the word, the living word, also, it begins from the level, the lower level. Like now when you, want, you give birth that you want to bring up your child. That word, the living word, can begin from that level. Then crime being the randa to the levels of judgments. The levels of judgments is where we are proclaiming what should be in the land and what should not be. Where we are creating what is a curse and what is a blessing. Where we are creating what is a good path and what is a bad path. Both of these ones, they cry blunder until that level. We've got in that. Now, when you are being brought up by the word, which I call a general, given birth by the law of sin, you shall be brought up from the lower levels, going up and up and up. Until you climb to the judgment level. If you are brought up by the other word, the living word, you are supposed to grow and grow and grow and grow until you reach the judgment levels. Wow. So a man do not grow by blood alone. Do not live by blood alone. But he in develops now in this scripture, he leaves. Why is he saying by the word from the mouth of God? Now, we need to describe living so that we may know what he is saying. Now, before I describe that, I want you to note this. This general word given birth by the role of sin when it is growing you, it plants in you the role of sin and death. It establishes in your system. As it is bringing you up, it establishes in your system the law of sin and death. Huh? So as you are growing up, this word establishes in you the law of sin and death. As long as you are brought up by the general word, the word that proceeded from the rule of sin, it will establish in you the rule of sin and death. In all its structures, it will establish the rule of sin and death. Right now, we were in a meeting last week, and I, I was watching the hall. 
And uh, there were little children that were in the home. And uh, the sisters are very interesting. Sisters sometimes, they carry their bags. Na unakuta mutu wa meweka mbagi pale, yake. Na ametoka inje kwenda kusalimiana, na mbagi simeja kule. So as I was standing in front, I was seated in front watching the hall. As the women are moving around, and brothers have gone, the women move to, fro, to, fro. Then, then I noted the children. I noted one girl move from where others were. They were praying and making a new son's noise, but one girl moved from where the park was. She was a little girl this size. She went up to where several women had left their bag, and she sat. They, they have kept their bags there. They have gone out. They are going in, out. She came and sat here. Then she looked out. She saw they are not coming. She looked at the other children. She saw they were busy. She looked at uh, Akina Wale wako camera walikuwepo, walikuwa maali. Aka watazama, aka ona the ambiso with their things. Aka songa songa kwa mifuko. And she started opening the bags. Now, it's a little child this size. I'm watching. Then she turned and realized, I'm just looking at everything she was doing. So she, wake up, she woke up running. Now, let me ask you. She seems a, very, a perfect thief. A very good thief. But how did she get to that level at this size? Can you ask yourself, at this size, how did she get to that level, that perfection of stealing? She is monitoring very well. I'm watching the one you young I see details of things. So she has broken away from the park. And I can see her eyes are looking at the bags. She is seeing one there, looking there. Mm -hmm. She has left the praying that was being prayed. Then she stood somewhere, looked at the women, so they have left and they're gone. She looked at their the children, they were not. Some are running out. Nobody is seeing her. They are there, but nobody is noticing. She looked at them that were behind the cameras. She, she, she realized that everyone is bedding with his phone, and the other one is talking with the other one. They are the ones who are watching the hall. Actually, the watchman. She is monitoring the watchman. She noticed nobody is bothered with the hall. Everybody is bothered with these things. She moved and sat next to the bags. Then she looked again, and she looked out. She saw the women are not coming back. They are busy talking. They actually they are outside. They are busy talking. Then she went close to the bags, and she began now opening the bags. And I'm watching a perfect thief. So what is in my mind is, how did she get there? Was she taken for the training to steal? By the mother? By the father? The word that is growing her is planting in her the seed of sin and death. And that planting grows perfections of what has been planted in him. Have you got what I'm saying? So you find people corrupted. They are in sexual perversion. They are in stealing. They are in very many things. But if you ask them, who taught you that? They say, I don't know. But this person has even perfected his lying. He's a liar who is perfected in lying. Then you try to imagine how did he get there? The seed 
of the word that was used had that thing in it. And it established it in him. And it perfected it. Point two. If you are grown by the living word. Write this one down. It establishes in you the role of righteousness and life. It establishes in you the role of righteousness and life. The role of life. The role of righteousness and life. So it comes and establishes on you things like honesty. It establishes in you righteousness. Sexuality is evil. When it is done outside the marriage house, it establishes in you until you can feel it. It is evil. It establishes in you lying is wickedness until you can feel it in your bones. Then when it has established that in you, it is started, it is start establishing life. Life means it is start putting roles of what you can do to prosper. How to have peace. How to be in health. They start establishing that. Life in you. That is the word created by righteousness. You got on that? Let me ask you a question. What word grew you? Is it the word, the living word, or is it the word that was the, the general word? Which one brought you up? The general word. What did it establish in you? The role of sin and death. And death means you do things wrongly to die. When I say it establishes in a man the role of sin and death, death means you do things the way you shall die. You go to do business, you do it the way the business shall fail. You go to get married, you get married the way you shall have a divorce. But when you have a divorce, you go blaming the devil. But actually, the devil was not there. You did it the way you shall have a separation. But you never even noticed you are doing it the way things shall break. You did not notice. Because for you to have life, there is a way you should do things. And if you shall have failure in life, there is a way you shall do things to fail. And sometimes you'll be seeing like you're doing something right. But you're walking on the path of death. You shall fail. Wow. I'm talking about the word. We have about three levels of this word. Number one, the word, the level that grows the within. The word that grows the within. That is level one. The general level. Then, level two is the word that grows the structures around. The structure around. Then we have level three. The level three is the word that establishes the structures above. Ama, the structure that sits in the spiritual arena. So,
Are you in the house? Don't worry, don't worry. You know, people are wondering what has happened. A miracle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me begin again. There is a level one, the word that will grow you in the within. There is a level two, the word that grows the structure around you. There is level three, the word that establishes the structure above you. Those are different levels of that word. You evolve from level one going upwards. So when you carry the word that is brought up by the row of sin and death, you continue building and building and building. Then finally you establish around you death. You are building businesses, you are building family, you are building. But the word you have used is creating structures that will destroy you. You seem to be making money, you seem to, you have children, you have a wife, but at the conclusion thereof, you shall have a very messy head. Because you have established all these levels by the word of, of sin and death. It has established death over you. And it has around now spirits that control death to sit over you. When you use the role of sin, of, 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 of righteousness, that is the living word, it goes the same way. It engrows the within. Then it, it, there is a level you get it to, it establishes around you. Then it establishes the spiritual. When it starts establishing the spiritual, it establishes life for you. There are people who think you shall have life by being laid hands on and being prophesied to. That you shall have a prosperous life. So nowadays I'm hearing preachers say, let me prophesy to you, you shall have a car. Let me prophesy to you, you shall become a great woman. Let me prof okay, that declaration is important to control the spiritual atmosphere. But your growth... Huh? will depend on what word is active in you and around you. The word that is active in you and around you, if it has sin and death, it will abort the decree that was made and kill it. The prayer that was made will die immediately. That word becomes active. The word that is in you. What type of a word is active in your heart, in your mind, in your environment, in your heavenlies? What type of a word is active? Is it the living word or the word that carries the seed of sin and death? And this is the mess the church is doing to the people. Because the minute you sit right now, I'm watching people, we are in an age where we are looking for so many things. For, a, for example, there is a teaching they call activating you for supernatural. How many have watched it, that? You'll be activated for the supernatural. Now, okay, how are you being activated for the supernatural? I'll lay hands on you. Then I tell you, that now go and do it. But the funny thing is, that activation may not trust. Because the supernatural, them that walked with the supernatural, they were not seeking after the supernatural. They were seeking for life. So they formatted themselves in thinking, in heart, by the word that giveth life. So they came to the realm of life, so that supernaturals began. Because the supernatural is the manifestation of the life that is flowing in you. Oh God. The supernatural comes in by the life that is flowing in you. And we have two types of the supernatural. 
the supernatural created because what is the, the supernatural nikitumia neno supernatural ni nini hiyo is things that are happening beyond human ability and human control those are in two worlds there is the supernatural created by the power of sin and death and there is the supernatural created by the word of life the living word the supernatural created by the word is like the one we were exploring in the morning if you hear for example an old man is speaked moto unaakishwa inawekwa mawe matatu mzee anaambiwa akalie njiwe hili akanyange jiwe hili na akanyange jiwe hili na moto umejaa majani yamejaa na moto wakuni uko pale na kichwa kimewekelewa na kuna majani na akalie pale na asisichomeke asis mpaka kichwa hiki ile ya unajua kichwa ile ya mbuzi mpaka manyoya yake yachomeke yaishe na mchana akiwa amekalia kime kimeketi katikati ya miguu yake na ni moto huko ameketi katika moshi huo na kichwa mpaka kichwa iwe tayari kutoa ile fumbi kutoka pale atolewe katika moshi what is that that is called supernatural do you think you go to preach to that man about jesus you must be able to produce a different super natural but no for him to reach a level where you are sitting na katika mawe yale matatu ni moto ukiwa katikati ya miguu yake na huku ramba ume wake ikufe ili akifufuka itakuwa ina function i hope you are here is supernatural do you think you can help kenya you have if you are not reached a level where the living world start manifesting the supernatural with those men in kenya you can help because when you go preaching and that man is sitting here he is holding and you are naenda na mkwaji wake na uto wet niliwaambia hawana pembe ili uwajue that old man who come to church Ameki, akiwa ameshika mkwaju yake na unaona analalia hivi ati anasikiza injiri ameiweka katikati ya wengine ndipo ukete wanakuangalia kile wanaambia na wanaambia mtoto hii umetairiwa mara ngapi what are you are you talking about do you know anything uliozaliwa jana Rafu unasema hata mkidharau neno la Mungu neno la Mungu ni moto Anakwambia Anasema kijana moto ushawahi kuingia katika moto Kutoka dakika hiyo utasema maneno yale uone ameinua mkwaju ainue juu akongeshe akiwa hapo tu akikongekesha usikii imeria ku ni wewe ameondoa dakika ile anasema hata mtipo utasema hata msiposikiza waze wale wengine watakuwa natetemeka wanajua mkwaju hiyo inamaanisha nini wanajua kijana umeisha 